How do ye? I'm Benjamin Franklin, a founding father of these United States of America, and this is a moment of discovery. I hope to dispel some misconceptions about my role in this revolution and the subsequent exploits of myself and a few of my dear friends in the name of God, country, and the vault of human knowledge. Now, this tale of an iron key tied to a kite born in the air on a stormy night, yes, it happened. I didn't invent electricity, however, nor did I even discover it. Electricity as a natural force was known for centuries before that shocking night in 1752. I merely demonstrated that lightning and electricity were of the same natural force by capturing ambient electricity from the atmosphere in a Leyden jar during a lightning storm. Simple, really. I am what some call a polymath, which comes from the Greek polymathes, meaning having learned much. It means I do a little bit of everything. I'm a mathematician and scientist, hence the kite and the key. I'm a philosopher, and my teachings became foundational to the structure of this country's political ideology. I'm a politician, and my most important office was as America's first minister to France. I also served as minister to Sweden and president of Pennsylvania back when that was an extant post. I was America's first postmaster general. I founded the first firehouse in Philadelphia. Fighting fire was a driving factor in my curiosity about electricity as well, and I used my discovery to invent the lightning rod, protecting numerous buildings in Philadelphia and beyond from lightning fires. I was the founder and first president of the University of Pennsylvania, which has since enlightened hundreds of thousands of young American minds, and that, that is the trait of which I am proudest. Few people know that I am the only person to have signed the Declaration of Independence, which I helped write, the Treaty of Paris, and the United States Constitution. The three foundational documents on which this nation was birthed. Even few people know that I was a vegetarian, and I was the first American to eat tofu. I even wrote my friend James Flint, a trade expert in China, asking him how I could make it for myself. This is a moment of discovery, sadly, and not an odyssey of discovery, so I must go. I can't go on and on. But I encourage you to discover more about me and your other founding fathers at your local library or museum or on the now innumerable volumes of knowledge that now float about the atmosphere on waves of light. I envy your ability to access so much knowledge. Use it wisely, friend. Perhaps you could discover more by visiting this institution, Discovery Park of America, in Union City, Tennessee.